We've been covering tourist traps and tricks for ages, and I thought I know every trick in the book. Well, I do not. We just came across a brand new trick that is associated with these ATMs, and I have to say, it is genius. It, it, I'm sort of being ironic here. We have made dozens of videos regarding ATMs and how they try to trick foreign tourists that when you get money out, you have to decline their conversion because they're not offering the best rate and your bank is giving a better rate and so on. So we taught an entire generation to decline a conversion and we probably saved millions of dollars to people when getting money out of an ATM. And these guys are aware of that. They do have internet connection, they do watch our videos. So they had to come up with a new trick. And the new trick is actually not aimed only at foreigners and tourists, but locals. These ATMs are literally on every single corner in every major tourist destination you can think of. In Portugal, they're everywhere. In Poland, everywhere. In Czech, every single corner is covered. Now, they do have the tricks how to get money out of a tourist, but how do they get money out of a local now? The trick is this. Now, I'm a local and my bank doesn't charge me for local withdrawals, which is what many locals think when they use these ATMs. So I'm just gonna punch in my card. I'm gonna select English so you guys will understand. Punch in my pin code. It's one, two, three, four, don't worry. And the ATM will ask me this. Now my options are cash and balance and other. And obviously I want to get cash out of an ATM, so I'm gonna go with cash and balance. And I get to a screen where the ATM is asking me how much money do I wanna get out. At this point I'm just gonna go like, you know what, I changed my mind, I don't want that. You have not been charged, last transaction was canceled. Well guess what? I was charged. I was charged two euros for this. How's that possible? Nothing happened, didn't provide any service, right? It even said you were not charged. Well, when I pushed that button in the beginning, it said cash and balance. And my bank charges two euros just to find out what my balance is from a different ATM. Dobrý den, můžu vás obtěžovat otázkou. Já jsem si teď vybral peníze z bankomatu a potřeboval bych zjistit, kolik mi naučila poplatek ten bankomat, jestli mi to dokážete říct. 40 korun. A dotaz na zůstatek? Ten by měl za 20. But this is the crazy part. It didn't even show me the balance. We've tried this multiple times and the only time that it shows you the balance that it eventually charges you for is when you get the money out, which is what we did. And it shows you the balance in small letters at the very end for like split of a second. Now I went to my bank to ask, hey, did they really charge me for this? And he said, yes. And I said, well, can I claim it to you? Like, can I uh, claim my money back from you guys? And they said, no, 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 no. You got to talk to them. And guess what? I don't want to talk to them <laughs> because they don't want to talk to me, I'm sure. So we, Three times I put my card in the Euronet ATM and only one time I actually withdraw some cash and it showed me my balance. But I just went to my bank to ask, hey, did they charge me for that balance check? And the guy said, yep, they charged you three times. Despite the fact they only showed it to me once for like split of a second, man. How long was that? Like one second. The guy was like, yeah, you shouldn't use Euronet, man. <laughs> The trick is the simple way to force you into a service that you, first of all, don't want, and second, are not even getting. It's bizarre. Now, just to be clear, other banks will also charge you uh, for showing you the balance if they charge for that from a different bank, but they will not force it to you on the very first screen and kind of trick you into pushing that button. There is a way how to avoid it in case of this ATM, and that is that when you want to get cash out, don't push the cash button, but push the other button. Makes sense, right? Yeah, they knew that. You guys are geniuses. By the way, I still love the ATM you placed in Auschwitz. Since there is a phone line for customer service, let's give Euronet a call and ask them what is this all about. Why would you even put that option up front? Like, so if I, you know, punch in my card, it gives me the option of balance and I'm just standing by the ATM. So it says cash and balance and other. Yeah. Right, so what should I yeah. click to get cash? There's no other way to get the cash? No, it says cash and balance and other. Please try to 
click other or if you cannot see anything like um, like simple intro, please use some other machine maybe. Okay, I'll use some other machine then, I guess. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye. And that was a tip from the Euronet customer helpline. <laughs> Try using some other machine. <laughs> we'll do just that. <laughs> this reminds me of the time when you walked into the restaurant on Old Town Square and you said, excuse me, how much is beer here? And the woman said, oh, no, no, not here. This is super expensive. Go across the square. Oh, I love honesty. This guy was honest. Just to make sure we did check other ATMs, we punched in our card and the first screen that we saw was, do you want to get money out? And there was a separate button that said, or do you want to know how much money you have in your account? Well, somebody from Euronet saw that and said, I have an idea. Two buttons, that can be one button and we can charge the people. Once again, genius. Check if your own bank will charge you for checking your balance and be careful when using an Euronet ATM that put these two buttons into one, therefore charging you this, in my opinion, a ridiculous fee. Be careful on your travels. So we do a travel show called The Honest Guide where we give honest tips and tricks how to avoid the tricks. Since we are from Czech Republic, we're actually curious what the situation is in other countries. Uh, so if you have a Euronet ATM nearby, let us know if it also forces you to uh, withdraw and check balance at the same time. And also let us know if your bank actually charges for that. We tried to look it up. Uh, it was difficult in different languages and so on. So we're curious. The comment section will be ideal for this. And I'll see you next week on another episode of The Honest Guide. I'm going to teach you a Czech word at the end, how to uh, say balance uh, in Czech. That would be zůstatek. So if you see zůstatek on the ATM, it means balance.